Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, you are going to see important objective mode of questions from the type from the topic structure and characteristics of bacteria and fungi. So this is from major two paper that is introduction to applied biology from the unit one essentials of microbiology and immunology. So uh, let's see the questions one by one. So let's see the first category of questions. Uh, they are nothing but multiple choice type of questions. Let's see the questions one by one. So which of the following is a characteristic feature of bacteria? So let's see the options. So prokaryotic cell structure, reproduction through binary fission, presence of a cell wall, all of the above. Yes, for this, the correct answer is all of the above. These three characteristics are uh, the character. These three characteristics are the characteristic features of bacteria. Okay, so let's see the next question. What structure in bacteria helps them to attach to surfaces and each other? Okay, so which structure of the bacteria which is useful for the attachment of bacteria to the any surfaces so options are flagella pili or fimbriae capsule endospore let's see the correct option for this pili or fimbriae which helps to bacteria to attach the or to adhere the substance substances okay or uh, surfaces okay so let's see in the next question what is the primary function of the bacterial cell wall Options are to regulate the movement of substances into and outside of the cell, to provide structural support and protection, to aid the cellular respiration, to replicate the DNA. So for this the correct answer is to provide structural support and protection. Cell wall is meant for the structural support and protection in bacteria. Let's see the next question. Which type of bacteria is gram positive? Options are bacteria with a thick peptidoglycan layer in their cell wall, bacteria with a thin peptidoglycan layer and outer membrane, bacteria without a cell wall, bacteria that have a waxy layer. So for this the correct answer is bacteria with a thick peptidoglycan layer in their cell wall. So opposite to this that is thin peptidoglycan layer is present in gram negative bacteria. Okay. So let's see the next question. What is the role of endospores in bacteria? Options are to help uh, with pro reproduction, to protect against environmental stresses, to aid in movement, to assist in nutrient uptake. So the correct answer for this is to protect against environmental stresses. So endospores are the reproductive structures of bacteria especially in bacteria bacillus subtilis uh, like uh, they back the bacteria they produce these kind of spores the spores are resistant spores so in this way they can thrive to uh, in adverse conditions okay so by producing uh, endospores they can thrive through adverse conditions too okay so let's see the next question bacteria having clusters of flagella at both poles of cells are known as options are amphitrichus monotrichus peritrichus lophotrichus so for this the correct answer is if the flagella are present in both the poles that is called as amphitrichus amphi means both Let's see the next question. What structure do bacteria use for motility? Yes, options are pili, flagella, capsule, ribosomes. So flagella, they meant for the motility or locomotion in bacteria. So let's see the next question. Lipopolysaccharide in cell walls is characteristic of options are algae, fungi, gram-negative bacteria, gram-positive bacteria. So for this the correct answer is 
gram negative bacteria so outside of the peptidoglycan layer gram negative bacteria consists an additional layer that is lipopolysaccharide layer or lipoprotein layer okay let's see the next question next question which of the following is a characteristic feature of fungi options are uh, eukaryotic cell structure absorptive nutrition reproductive reproduction through spores all of the above yes for this the correct answer is all of the above these three characters are the characteristic features of fungi okay so let's see the next question which group of fungi is characterized by forming sac like structures options are basidiomycetes ascomycetes zygomycetes deuteromycetes so for this the correct answer is ascomycetes are having a sac like structure where they can produce ascospores okay so let's see the next question which of the following fungi are known for their role in decomposing organic matter options are pathogenic fungi mycorrhizal fungi saprophytic fungi lichens so for this the correct answer is saprophytic fungi so they play an important role in decomposing organic matter okay they live on or they feed on dead and decomposing organic matter let's see the next question which fungi are commonly used in uh, baking and brewing due to their ability to ferment sugars options are saccharomyces cerevisiae candida albicans aspergillus niger penicillium nutatum for this the correct answer is saccharomyces cerevisiae which is very much useful in baking industry and brewing industry as well as in fermentation processes okay so let's see the next question what are the cell wall structural components of fungi options are peptidoglycan cellulose chitin chitin cellulose hemicellulose for this the correct answer is cellulose hemicellulose chitin so remember chitin is the chitin is the structural component of a fungal cell wall let's see the next category of questions they are belonging to fill in the blank type of questions you have to fill the blank with an appropriate answer the world's smallest bacteria is so world's smallest bacteria is uh, the correct answer is mycoplasma geniti genitalium okay so that is the correct answer uh, don't worry for the don't worry for the answers so i will display uh, later in the last session of this video i will display the slides with answers okay you need not worry then you can take screenshots okay let's see the next question give an example for edible fungi so mushrooms or the edible fungi okay so let's let's see the next question the term refers to the bacterial cell that is comma shaped yes comma shaped bacteria or generally referred to as vibrio so let's see the next question bacterial cell walls are primarily composed of yes bacterial cell walls are composed of peptidoglycan layer okay so let's see the very short answer type of questions that is uh, what is the mode of nutrition in fungi so uh, they are belonging to short answer type questions you can write the answer within single or two lines okay so uh, you have to know mode of nutrition in fungi so fungi generally they are heterotrophic uh, in nature that means uh, they are having heterotrophic mode of nutrition why because they don't have chlorophyll pigments in them that's why they do not synthesize their own food uh, they depend on other organisms that that's why they are heterotrophs and fungi are also known as sap saprophytes and decomposers which means they get their food from dead and decaying matter okay so they are also called as saprophytes and decomposers too let's see the next question what is the body form of fungi called yes the body form of the fungus is known as mycelium okay let's see the next category of questions that is matching type you have to match the list 1 with list 2 uh, let's see the matching uh, here the shapes are given you have to know the which shape of bacteria is called as uh, what what name okay let's see a spherical shaped bacteria 
are called as cocci bacteria rod shaped bacteria are called as bacilli bacteria bacillus or bacilli spiral shaped bacteria are called as spirilli or spirillum comma shaped bacteria are generally referred to as vibrio so for this the correct answer is first one let's see the next category of questions this is the last category true or false category so let's see the first question bacteria have 80s ribosomes each composed of 60s and uh, uh 40s subunits okay 60s large subunit and 40s a small subunit okay so this statement is false why because why because bacteria are having 70s type of ribosomes where 50s large subunit and 30s smaller subunits are present okay that's why this statement is false let's see the next question antony antony de bari considered as father of mycology yes this statement is considered as true so de bari is considered as father of mycology so now i'm going to give you these questions with answers now you can take screenshots So if you like this video please like share subscribe thank you